Good morning, and thanks for watching Atherton On Air. Today is Monday, February 24th. I'm Hasmik Bablova. And I'm Vanessa Markey. The Atherton boys basketball team has a huge district game tonight versus Seneca. Coach Mark Tudor is asking for everyone's support. I'm the Trinity 530. It's, uh, it's an extra help. It's an extra boost. You guys pick us up. And so we're just asking everybody to, you know, try to make that trip out, be loud and proud, and show them uh, what Rebel Nation is all about. The game is tonight at Trinity High School. Let's all come out and show our support for the basketball team. Four Atherton athletes have signed to continue playing sports in college. Let's hear what Scott Zender, Shane Wilson, James Hudson, and Darrell Brown have to say about their amazing achievement. Yesterday I signed to play soccer at Hanover College. I signed to Urbana University. Signing to Thomas More. I'm signing to Thomas More University to play football. And yesterday our signing was really packed. We had a lot of people there and we ran out of chairs. It was a really great experience. It was, it was a lot more people than ever at the signing than I've ever seen. Today was a big day. It was kind of crazy. I didn't expect that many people to come out. Uh, yeah, shout out to all of them that came out because, you know, as one of the biggest signings I've seen since I've been here in my four years. Uh, I feel like we all worked really hard towards our goals. Um, and specifically, as football players, uh, it's been a long three years. I feel like we all worked really hard towards our goals. I worked hard for four years, went through a lot of battles, tough times. Great opportunity to be able to continue to play and do it for my brother Devin because, you know, lost him. So that's a big thing that I get to play for him and do that for him. Checking the club calendar, please join the Classic Horror Film Club today as they watch Bride of Frankenstein from 2.30 to 4.30 in room 116. And the Environmental Club also meets today in room 214. There will be a guest speaker talking about climate change. Congrats to the ninth grader Dakota Emerson, who was nominated by the geometry teacher Ms. Schneider for Freshman of the Week. Here's Ms. Schneider with more. For Freshman of the Week, I nominated Dakota Emerson. Um, the reason I nominated her is she is consistently a hard worker in my class and she always shows beautiful mathematics. Her work is easy to follow. She articulates the explanations really well in class. Um, I'm also, I also appreciate how she, she is willing to speak up in class, but she knows when to be patient and let others have a chance to. It's hard to believe, but it's almost time to start registering for classes next school year. All this week, we'll try to help understand. Uh, we'll try to help you understand some of the different electives offered at Atherton. Today, today, let's find out more about the visual arts program. Okay, so there's two pathways in the arts. There's the like more standard level, and then there's kind of the advanced level. And so the standard level, after you take art one, which is required for both like both of them, you take like art two, art three, art four, and you're gonna get like more sculpture. You're gonna get like ceramics, um, painting. You're gonna get like a little bit of everything. And then in the more advanced courses. You're going to have, um, after Art 1, you have Drawing and Painting 1, um, and then Drawing and Painting 2, and then you have AP Art. So Drawing and Painting 1, what's different from like Art 2, taking like Drawing and Painting 1, is you're getting kind of um, more things like color theory, like learning about like the struggles with like drawing and like proportions. Um, and you're also going to do like more like tests. So you're kind of like learning how to make the art before you can like go in and do like what you want to do. So um, then Drawing and Painting 2 is... Um, it's like similar to that you're feeding off of like drawing and painting one and then during the second semester you're gonna start your, um, your AP portfolio for your senior year level class and um, that's like the point where you get to make kind of like the art you want to make and so you're making 15 pieces and you submit it to college board so you can get college credit for it and a lot of the colleges take the credit so like if you want to be like an engineer it's like required that you have a drawing class in college and so if you go ahead and do it now you won't have to take it Let's take a look at what's been going on inside of some of our Atherton classrooms lately. In Ms. Muskowitz's English class, students use their independent reading books to create rhetorical analysis projects. They related the themes of the book back to a cultural or social topic and then presented their projects to the class. And in Ms. Suarez's Spanish class, students got the chance to learn different verbs in Spanish and how to use these words in the context of cooking. They made a video or PowerPoint on the topic and for extra credit, they were able to bring in the homemade recipes based on Hispanic culture that they had made. Thanks to both teachers for inviting our cameras into the classroom. Teachers, we would love to feature your work with students on Atherton On Air. Please let Mr. Boros or Mrs. MacArthur know about any projects, presentations, labs, or more. Shout out to Miss New for sharing her umbrella with Miss Osborne. And way to go Aiden Wheeler and Benji Buente for turning in lost AirPods. You are being recognized for these simple acts of kindness. Stop by and see Miss Marzian for your certificate. And for today's Rebel Birthdays, happy birthday to Devin Runyon, Desmond Reynolds, Mia Smith, 
Aiden Welch, Dawson Schoenbachler, and one of our Atherton on Air anchors, Addie Shaney. That's all the time we have for today. I'm Vanessa. And I'm Hasmeek. Remember, what you do makes, makes a, a difference. difference. Have a wonderful day.